Hey, hey, Tony here, Random Adventures 2.0. So we're here at in Pottsville, Pennsylvania. We're going to be taking a tour of the oldest brewery in America, Yingling uh, Brewery, which is here in Pottsville since 1829. Uh, so we're going to take a walk across the street and head in those uh, doors right over there and go down and start our tour in about two seconds. All right. here was put up during prohibition it was knocked down so that they could access this part but this is an old wall for prohibition Something really cool. One of the reasons it was built uh, in this location is because of a natural spring that went five blocks. So this is the old ladder that goes up to the natural spring. That pipe is the only thing that's left uh, now, uh, but that used to feed all the beer. They don't use uh, the natural spring any longer, uh, but this is the case. It's really cool down here. This is the, the other end, other end of the tunnel or the cave system. It kind of went around in a circle but that's the other wall that was built during Prohibition times. Okay, this room here was the racking room. So this was the equipment that was used during racking of the kegs. Uh, there was a whole process, not done that way anymore. All right, let's keep going. But that's the racking room. Ah, oh, look at this old door. Very cool. This area was the, the break room, <laughs> a break room with a bar, right? Uh, they were actually allowed to drink product up until 1990, until OSHA came in and said, ah, that's probably not a good idea, <laughs> but what a lunchroom. All right, let's keep going. glass window that's up there uh, that was actually installed back in the 1800s and the reason they put stained glass in it used to be clear glass but what happened was all the sun was shining through reflecting off of the tanks and kind of getting in the workers eyes so they decided to put the stained glass in beautiful stained glass up over the top of the, the tanks
bottling area. They said about 95% of the beer that's produced in this building uh, is cans, not bottles. So this section here doesn't run as often as the canning section right on the other side. Uh, let's take a look at that real quick. So this is the canning area. So this is the machines that do all of the canning. Uh, they, she said she, they produce about 25,000 cans a day. That's a lot of beer. And the production, so they're cleaning the machines, getting it ready for the next run, which will be tomorrow. <laughs> But they kind of come around and they go down that way. You see the chute there for all of the cans. So they'll run down through there and get sealed and everything. Uh, just a really cool process. at the tasting room area. So I've got a uh, Oktoberfest, Yingling Oktoberfest was one of the samples that I actually uh, said that I would take. They've got about seven or eight up across there. Uh, I've got a black and tan coming. They've got to make that because it uh, requires two beers to make it. So uh, we're going to have a taste of this one uh, first. Um, back behind me, right through the window is the brewery. So we're right across the street. So you know, at the end of the tour, they'll bring you over here and this is where you get to taste it. There's a gift room over there. We'll take a look at that in a minute. But Hey, cheers. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> so this is the wristband for the tour, but it also uh, guarantees you get two samples. You can have more samples. You got to buy them. There's some growlers over there. Um, I think it was a 16 ounce growler for like $13. Really, really cheap. Um, that's a lot more beer than I need right now. <laughs> All right. I'm going to go over and grab my my black and tan uh, real quick. Okay, I have, I still have some of this one left. <laughs> so, um, this is the black and tan, uh, which is made with their uh, Yingling Premium and also their uh, Porter. So it's a mix uh, between it. I love black and tans. Uh, this, I'm looking forward to this. Right. So, cheers. Yeah, I really enjoy that. Way, not way better, but I'm not a big flavor. Um, beer drinker, maybe you are. Um, but man, black and tan is just so smooth. Uh, I'm sure the porter would be just awesome by itself too. Uh, but I'm a two-fisted drinker. <laughs> All right. So we're gonna take a walk into the gift shop as soon as I finish these. And I promise these are the only two I'm having. All right. <laughs> So big, big gift shop. Very big gift shop. A lot of, a lot of shirts. Yeah, even if you don't want to take the tour, uh, just stop in the gift shop here. Hey, Tony, Random Adventures 2.0. Uh, we're all done with the tour, done with taste testing, done with the gift shop, done with the museum. So the only thing left to do is to kind of 
head out, head to the car, and head home. So thanks for coming along. If you like what you saw, hit like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next random adventure. All right, take care. All right, well, who I ran into? Richard Yingling, fifth generation owner. Um, so Richard, oh wait, <laughs> it's cardboard. <laughs> All right, well, I didn't see him here, but from what I understand, he works every day. Uh, so he's not here, but he's here somewhere in the building. Uh, but we didn't get a chance to see him. Uh, maybe um, someday he'll invite us back <laughs> and we'll, we'll get to, to do this again. All right.